Welcome to my channel. So this is how I trade gold and other pairs. So guys, I've added other pairs. I don't trade them. I will, I will only trade on GBP, USD and gold. But I've been receiving messages from people asking me to analyze more pairs because other people trade more than GBP, USD and gold. So that's why I added other pairs. So I will mention the pairs that I added that I will be analyzing now. I've already analyzed these ones for today. So let me mention them. I have to look at it to be able to get them right. So my eyes will be, my eyes will be out of the camera. So this is analyzed goods, GBP, USD, Euro, USD. This is GBP, JPY. And this is USD card. And this is USD, JPY. This is New Zealand, USD. And GBP card as well. GP, uh, uh, I mentioned GP card. No, GBP, GP1, GP card. Yeah. So analyze like eight pairs. So let's start from this eight pairs first because if I analyze more than this, this video will be long. This video is already about 25 minutes plus. So this is the pairs that I added. So people that trade on those pairs can also, as in, gain insights of what they, are, what they are going to do or how they are going to trade for today from the analysis. So before I go into the analysis, guys, kindly subscribe to my channel and like this video. It's not easy doing this every morning. So the only way you can appreciate me or the only way I can get back or the only way you can give back to me is by liking this video and sharing it and following me back. And if you want me to mentor you, the, the website, my website link is below. Go to my website website and sign up for my mentorship program. I will teach you how I analyze, how I enter, and what it takes to be a successful forex trader. So guys, let's go to the analysis. I'm starting this analysis with gold, but I will analyze other pairs because I have been receiving comment and message people asking me to analyze more pays i should add more pays i should stop analyzing only gbp usd and gold so i will analyze more pays but i'm not going to take all those pays i will just analyze it then whoever wants to take it should flow it up but the only one that i will take is, G is gbp usd and gold but all these other ones i'm not going to take it i'm not going to trade on them I will only trade on GBP, USD, and gold. So I will analyze gold first. After I don't analyze the gold, then I will analyze GBP, USD. After GBP, USD, Euro, USD. After Euro, USD, GBP, JPY. After GBP, JPY, then USD card. After USD card, then USD, JPY. After USD, JPY, New Zealand land, USD. Then I think I will stop there because it's up to seven already. Well, let me say I might still analyze GBP card. Or uh, if I have time, I analyze all of them. Then Euro G GBP and US 30 and uh, what again? New Zealand JPY. But I'm not sure if I will analyze. I think I might stop at this New Zealand GP as in USD. So let's start with good. So this is daily time frame on good. Uh, you guys know that I bought good since I think on Monday or Tuesday, and it has been range. It has not done anything. But now I'm seeing another thing on good. So that's where my problem is right now. So the daily time frame has not done anything, and this is the four hours time frame. So this four hours time frame, I'm seeing head and shoulder for down trend for sale so that's what that's where my problem is now and you guys know that we are still on buy i'm still holding it's, it's in profit so i might end up closing it and take whatever it's giving me so this is the shoulder this is the head and this is the shoulder and this market broke this low yesterday it broke this neckline yesterday it's coming back to retest this 
particular resistance. With this resistance tallied with the trend line. So I believe that if you retest on this resistance, this drop it might continue. So that's what I'm thinking now. So I'm not sure this buy might continue. So this is 15 minutes time frame. So what I'm looking for now is to sell gold when it get to this zone. Let me draw the boss. This is the zone here. So that's what I'm thinking. So oh, I will still hold my trade. I will still hold my I will still hold my position on buy. So what I will do is if I see a sell confirmation, reset confirmation that I'm entering the sell, then I'll close the buy. Whether it's in profit or whether it's negative, I'll close the but even if it's negative, it will never be much. Because where the confirmation itself, it might confirm where when the buy is still in profit. So I will close this and take a sell. Because I don't want to close it right now because of this sell, but because this sell might not hold. Yeah, the sell might not hold and the buy continues. So it will pay me. So I will wait until first this sell confirmation complete. Then I will close the buy and take the sell. And definitely I believe that the buy will be in pro and the buy will be in profit when I will close it. So this is the 15 minutes time frame. So waiting for it to come into this boy. It's already getting to the boss. If we enter into this boss, then I will look for a sell. A sell because that head and shoulder, I believe that it, it will hold. Therefore, our head and shoulder. I believe that it will hold. So that's my analysis on good. So if you enter into this boy, you guys already know what you are looking at for head and shoulder, W pattern or or whatever setup you know that. You are familiar with you can use and enter this trade. Only get into this boss, wait for that setup, then use and take the trade. And I will have a video coming up or maybe tomorrow or on Saturday. I will teach you guys how you can use your own setup to enter a trade. You don't need my own setup. That particular setup you know you use to trade as a forest trader, you must have an entry. I will Tell you how you can use that entry to be entering a trade. It's important that this one you'll be using that entry to enter a trade and definitely it will make you a profitable trader. But wait for that video to be tomorrow or next. So this I'm done with gold and this is GBP USD. So this is daily time frame. So we all know that. This is a daily time frame broke this low here, and I've been waiting for it to come back to this zone. You can see that my mark up are still there, so I wait for it to come back to this zone for that sell to continue. This resistance, I believe, this is a daily resistance, and I believe that it will hold this GBP USD when it gets to the resistance because you can see that it consolidated here for a long time, and it can never just come here and just take it out. I'm not sure. So I'm believing that if we get to here, we are still going back down. So this is four hours time frame. So now, this is how we can ride to this resistance here. So I'm waiting for this GPU to take out this high, this particular high. If we take out this high, and retest, we are going to look for a buy, and our step BP will be somewhere here. So, if you take us here and retest, we are going to look for a buy from here and target our TP with somewhere here. So, this, this zone will be our entry, the our support level will be on here. So, I believe that if this take out this side, definitely it will come back here before going to this daily resistance. So on 15 minutes time frame, this is what it will be. If we take it out, then come back into this boss, we look for a buy here, then we target that daily resistance. That's what we are going to do. 
this GBP USD. So this is what I'm looking at for now. So I might take a buy on GBP USD today. But if GBP USD didn't take out this high and continue dropping, then you guys already know my bias here. If you take out this though, if you take out this though, then this support here is what I will use to continue selling it. If you take out this load, then come back to this support, then I will look for sell and sell it. So this is all the bias I'm looking at for now. Let it take out this low and come back to this bot, then I will look for sell. Then we are going down back. So this is narrow. And I believe that one of these might happen. Not not that exactly it might happen, it must happen. Because if this doesn't go up, it will go down. So one of it must happen. So this is it for GBP USD and let's check out Euro USD. So this is daily time frame for Euro USD. Same thing, it broke this low, then it coming back to retest it. So definitely it's going to be going to be some, something this way. There is this particular level here, but I know that it might not reject from this. You can see that this is the stronger one. First touch, second touch, third touch. But this one is only particular, this one. So I believe that it will get to this one. This particular level is only this level. I know there might be other levels than, than there, but this current one I'm seeing here is what I'm using. So I believe that if we get to this before we look for Excel. Then let's check four hours time frame. Already four hours time frame. Uh so, so look for buy here. Because it broke this. I can see that this one retest it and uh, so, so look for buy on 15 minutes time frame which you can see what happened here already confirmed the buy you can see there is triple top here and three of them has the same high and the market broke and retail so your stop loss will be here then we should be targeting but well, this trade is already late should be targeting one to two or if you have money target that daily resistance with that daily resistance we give you like one to six one to six risk reward or if you wish you target one to two with the one to two will be here with the one to two will be here But this is already late to enter because you have missed this trade we have missed this trade race so if you want to take it I have to wait maybe and see another setup so this is the entry for this euro usd so let's check out this gp jpy so this is the daily for gp jpy and fortunately is somehow ranging here not in anything here. Uh, let me check on um, four hour time frame. So the four hour time frame is ranging. So this GP this GP GP has to take out this high. Has to take out this high then take it out then retest. Has to take it out first. Then retest. So if you take out this high then this zone will be the support area we look for buy and if we take it out this way low then come back then this resistance will be the zone we will look for a sell so this 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 is what we have here but now nothing to do here it's trendless so we cannot do anything here so let's go down to USD card. 
So this is daily on USD card. Daily on USD card. Yeah, there is a level here. This, this daily might reject from somewhere here. You can see these touches here. This zone here is a strong one. So it might reject from somewhere here. So if we get into, so it's almost at the box. If we get into this box, then you have to look for an entry on 15 minute time frame. Let's switch it four hours and see what four hours time frame is doing. Is it kind of the same? Power time frame, this is take out this side, and this is the zone we are going to look for a buy, which is, is in that zone already, because this is the support we are going to look for a buy. It's already in the support area. Then of this 15 minute time frame, what we have to do here now is to look for your entry from here, which is can use double, double bottom or the big bottom or head and shoulder. Look for it from this zone to take this trade. Then target your one to two. It's already on the support zone. We would like to buy this USD card on 15 minutes time frame. So look for a buy from here. Don't just jump in a buy. No, look for a buy. Look, any confirmation that you are familiar with, use and take a buy from here. So this is USD JPY. Daily time from USD JPY. USD JPY uh, already taking out this eye, but this is the strong support I might be looking at for. This is the strong one. This particular one. Can still hold, yeah. Can still hold. So this as well. Can also look at this as well. So if coming to this boss, if you come into this boss, look for a buy for you to continue. Or uh -huh. if you take out that low without giving you any confirmation, then this is the second one. We might look out for because this particular one is already tally with this moving average so you might respect this one that's the first one i'm looking at but you can still respect this one so let's check four hours time frame four hours time frame this is the four hours time frame support so this is the first one we will look at so if you fail from this four hours time frame support then this daily support might hold it you can see that this four hours time frame is killer so this is daily, you can see it. So if you fail from this, it might reject from this. You already know that when it came into this box, go to 15 minutes time frame and look for your entry. And this particular one, when it came into this box, go to 15 minutes time frame and look for your entry. And uh, this is New Zealand land USD, and this is the daily time frame. Already taken out this low. And coming back to it, this is the zone you will look for your cell. Coming back to resist, coming back to the resistance. So this is the zone you will look for your cell. Then when you came into this box, go to 15 minute time frame and look for a cell. And this is four hours time frame. Now four hours time frame is giving you buy vibe because you can see that this lower low higher high drop to candle and it's taking it out with shadow already i think this one took it out with body so this is another zone you might look for buy on 15 minutes time frame yeah but um, there might be a confusion because this daily resistance i know ladies buy proceed this daily might pull it back downward but it is what it is this forest is win or, as win and lose but if your strategy is working definitely you will be okay so it 
I, I think he came back to the bus, yeah? Then I started moving up. So has not given any buy confirmation here. But if you still come back into this bus and give any buy confirmation here, take a buy and target one to two to that bus. So it will be here. Then come back to here and then took a, take a buy from here. Then you know that your entry, should, your, your exit should be somewhere here because this daily support might pull it. Sorry, this daily resistance might pull it back. So if you take a buy here, make sure you close out from somewhere here. So we have now we have analyzed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pace. I think I should stop here. Uh, let me do this last one. This is GBP card. Uh, this is daily time frame. And uh, oh. it's somehow ranging here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like over a week now, it's ranging here. So I will, I will tell you for now, it's trendless. Let's check our for, let's check for our time frame. That's what he's doing. He's trying to let nothing to do here. You just have to wait. Let you take out this eye, then come back. Then if you take out this eye, definitely we use this. You you use this resistance as in yeah, this support as your buy entry. And if you take out this low, then if you take out if you take out the low. Then come back to the test, then use this resistance as your sell entry. Sorry, and if you take out this one, use this support as your buy entry on four hour on 15 minutes time frame. You can really understand where you look your entry if you take out here and the test. So for now, it's trendless. So, guys, let me stop up with this eight pace. Let me start with this. This one is zero. GBP. Let me start with this eight pace, but this video will be too long if I continue. So that is it, and stay safe.